Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. You're watching In Deep on the Delta. My name is Steve Cooper, and I recently uploaded, vid uploaded a video that I called the Change of Light Bite. And we talked about that special time, that first hour of morning and the last hour that you fish in the evening, and how magical that can be. Today I'm going to be building on that. We're going to talk about the night bite, what happens out here after dark. And I'm going to call this video, The Night Time is the Right Time. Now if you haven't fished out here, in the evening you're really missing out on a great fishery this has been a a video that i've been wanting to film for a long time but it has just been an absolute nightmare to film my nighttime skills when it comes to filming are poor at best so i promise that i'm going to include all the information that you're going to need to uh if you haven't been out here tonight at night to come out and start fishing in the evening and i also have some low light action footage that I think you're going to uh, enjoy. So with that, let's get right into the video. Let's start off with a misconception that you may have if you haven't fished out here in the evening. Don't think you're going to come out and as soon as the lights go out, you're gonna start catching fish hand over fist. It doesn't happen like that. The fact of the matter is you're probably gonna catch numbers wise about the same number of fish that you catch during the daytime. And if I'm gonna be quite honest with you, if you haven't fished out here and you're not used to fishing at night when the lights are out after dark, you're probably going to catch fewer fish on your first few trips. It takes a few trips to get your boat organized and figure out the do's and don'ts of what, what to do when the lights are off. And plain and simply, it's just harder to fish after dark when there's no light. So don't think you're going to come out here and go crazy catching huge numbers of fish. What you will find is that after the lights go out, there is a different class of fish that comes out here on the Delta. And until you've spent a few nights out here and fished through the evening, you will never know the true potential of the California Delta. Let's get into some information that's gonna help you get out here. You know, back a few years ago, it was illegal to fish after dark out here. And we're talking about back a few years ago, meaning the mid 60s. That's when I was growing up here in Stockton. And as soon as it was legal, somewhere around, I don't know, 65, 67, somewhere in there, my dad and I were out here on the Delta fishing all night, primarily for stripers. But as I got a little older and I really started focusing on largemouth bass, I started coming out here after dark, uh, probably in the 70s. And, and uh, I got hooked on it. It's just a magical time to be out here and like I say, it's going to open up some some avenues out here that just don't get up opened up during daylight hours. Let me give you my philosophy on what I like to do here after dark and it is very straightforward. It's a simple philosophy. It's something that I've done since the 70s. I did it back then, I'm doing it now, and I will not change this for you. I'm coming out here to catch the biggest fish in the river, and I'm going for the knockout punch. I'm not looking to find a pattern. I'm not looking to finesse fish. I'm not looking for new water, and I'm not looking to move around a lot. I am going to places that I am familiar with, places that I have history with on here that I have caught big fish, and I know there are big fish out here. I have about four or five big baits that I throw. I don't waver from those baits. And we're going to go over the baits and, 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 um, and, and how I set them up really quick here in just a minute. So I throw big baits. They're tied on to 65-pound braid, and there is no finesse at all. My philosophy is I'm coming out. I'm looking for the biggest fish in the river. I just have that one huge bite that fish that makes that mistake and comes up and grabs something and I set hook on him and the dance starts, that is what is so addicting about fishing after dark. Oh boy, that's a good one there.
Okay, the first question that uh, most people ask is when should I be out here? What moon phase, uh, what time of year, so on and so forth. So ideally during the summer months when the weather gets up to uh, daytime temperatures are somewhere in the mid 90s and the evening temperatures are pleasant, you know, probably around the mid 60s to 70s, even when it gets uh, late later in the evening, when it's pleasant out here to fish, that's when you want to start coming out. The bugs aren't that bad, believe me. We'll talk about that in a little bit. but. Um, you want to be out here when the weather is pleasant. I try to plan my uh, fishing excursions within a few days of the full moon or a few days of the no moon. I catch more fish during a full moon, but I catch larger fish during a no moon. If it's your first trip out here, I would plan my fishing around the full moon. You'll be surprised at how much light the moon gives off and it'll just help you um, uh, figure out a few things that um, are, are going to be different if you're not used to fishing uh, after dark. Let's get into some of the things that you're going to need after dark that you may not have on your boat during the daytime. Um, safety is always a concern after dark. Uh, I try to keep my life vest on as much as I can and, and really kind of slow down and, and keep safety in mind. There are very few, I don't want to say very few, most of the time uh, bugs aren't a bad situation out here, but I, I strongly suggest bringing some uh, mosquito repellent. If sometimes when you get into certain areas, uh, especially during the summer months, if if there's no breeze up, you can have some mosquitoes out here. They're usually not bad, so make sure you have some mosquito repellent. Lights oh, uh, are are absolutely a necessity and the one light that you're really going to want is a, uh, a headlamp. It is a necessity. It's a necessity for uh, landing fish and it's, you just need to have this on all the time after dark. I always keep a small flashlight right in my pocket in case um, you know I lose sight of where my other lights are. I've, I've got that light all the time. I have a number of these little lights that you can get at Harbor Freight all around my boat so they're always close at hand and you'll need a spotlight. Those are um, necessities out here that you're going to want to have. Um, oh, and always the net has to be at ready. And I'm usually out here in the evening, so I'm trying to uh, catch fish, hook fish, land fish by myself. You always make sure that net is ready and, and, and it's not tangled up somewhere. All right, stick with me on this, guys. This is the in deep on the delta fishing after dark adventure plan and this is how I do it. I start off having dinner about six o'clock. As soon as my dinner's over I pack the boat up. I'm on the water out here about 7, 7.30 in the evening. My plan is to fish through the evening bite, stay out all night and then fish the morning bite. So what I have to do is make sure I have a sleeping bag, a pad, a pillow, and I always bring a small tarp to throw over me if it, if it gets dewy at night. So that gives me the opportunity to fish through the evening bite, and then as soon as it gets dark, I'll know my tides and I'll know moon phases, and I will fish the time of night during the evening when the fish are going to be more active. After that, I will get out my pad and sleeping bag and I'll sleep. I'll set my alarm for about 4.30 in the morning and then I will get up and start fishing through the morning bite. And I'm going to tell you why I do that. This is my thinking here on the Delta as far as fishing daylight and evening. There are fish that primarily feed during daylight hours and there are other fish that primarily feed during evening hours. The bigger fish are the fish that are feeding after dark. But think about this. When you're doing the in deep on the delta all night adventure, you're getting to fish the prime times of three compressed bite windows. The evening change of light bite, the after dark bite that coincides with tide and moon phase, and then the morning bite. Those are three of the best times to be out here fishing. And by staying out all night, maybe taking a nap during the, uh, the middle of the night or when the tide's not in your favor, you can hit all three of those compressed bite windows. Even if you miss one, generally another one's gonna hit. So you're always gonna have uh, some action out here and you're giving your ch yourself a chance to not only have a lot of fun, but catch some of the biggest fish that you'll ever see out here in the Delta. And again, you will never, ever, ever know the true potential 
of the San Joaquin Delta until you've been out here fishing through the night. Let's get into the baits. So when it comes to baits, I am not picky. I, I use four or five baits. I tie them on primarily straight braid, 65 pounds. When the bell rings after dark, it's like a heavyweight championship fight. You're coming out throwing your biggest punch and you're hoping that one of the fish comes out and makes a stupid mistake and throws his biggest punch at you. All right, let's talk about the baits that I like to use after dark. And I'll start off with the um, the small bubble walker. We're going to get into the techniques that I use and my philosophy of when and how I'm using this bait. Small bubble walkers, uh, especially during uh, the change of light bite, as soon as it gets dark I will go with the bigger bubble walkers and the bigger baits. So um, let's start off with the full rundown. Small bubble walker before it gets dark, uh, going to the bigger bubble walkers and again dark colors full moon, light colors during the no moon. Um, you're always going to want a frog, especially when you first get into fishing out here. This is the m most weedless bait that you can throw out here and it's going to keep you in the water fishing um, till you get your, your, your night vision and everything. So you're going to want a frog. The big style whopper plopper, that's a great one out here. And this is the pike size. It's the biggest one you can get. You want to throw that one. Um, I throw buzz baits both single bladed and um, the double bladed buzz baits those oops excuse me those are great baits out here um, I love big wake baits like the Mikey your favorite wake bait uh, get it out here surface wake baits and the reason I like to throw uh, surface wake baits is because they don't catch as much um, uh, snot and grass uh, Things like S waivers, Sneaky Peats, and things like that will really well, work well if you're out in cleaner water and you can fish them um, fairly efficiently without getting them hung up. But if you're going to throw a wake bait like an S waiver or a Sneaky Peat, make sure it's one that's just going to be subsurface and not more than a foot or two underneath. Otherwise, you're going to be uh, really, um, you know, fouling up with, uh, with uh, uh, subsurface vegetation. If you're going to go subsurface, I really love throwing a, um, a chatter bait. Make sure that if you're throwing a chatter bait, that you throw a quality chatter bait that uh, is a, has a good strong hook and it will hold a big fish because you'll find out that stripers love chatter baits uh, during the evening period. So you're going to be out here sooner or later and you're going to hook up with a huge striper. Give yourself a chance to land that by using quality baits. And last but not least, if I'm going to fish subsurface, I'll throw big 12 and 14 inch worms. I like ribbon tail worms. I like uh, using dark colors like black and blue. I fish them wacky style. I use a nail weight in the head and I always put lots of uh, scent on them in the evening and uh, I generally try to put a rattle in that worm. It's amazing how many fish you can catch on a worm out here in the evening. I don't know how the fish uh, pick these things up, but... Uh... If it's a full moon, uh, lots of light out, I throw dark baits. If it is no moon, I throw light baits. The two colors that I throw mostly are black and white. My favorite bait out here in the evening is, if I can get it uh, off of this rod, is the Big Mikey. And that is a weight bait and the, uh, it can be fished in a number of different ways. Again, give me a week or so, I'm going to put up a full video on how to fish the Mikey. If I get out here to fish the evening bite and, and I've got an hour of, of light left, I'll throw this small bubble walker. The reason I throw the bubble walker right before dark is because it catches a lot of fish, but it can catch some big fish. So if I'm out here all night, I want to start off, catch a few fish, get my confidence up, even if they're not the biggest fish in the river. It's a great time to be out here. It's just a lot of fun. If you haven't watched the video, the change of light bite, check out that video and you'll see how much fun it is um, uh, using the bigger bubble walker. Now, it's, or excuse me, using the small bubble walker. As soon as the lights go out, I switch over to the big bubble walker. Or if I start catching 
uh, a big fish. The minute I catch a four, five, six pound fish on that small bubble walker, I will go directly to a big bait. Because generally when one big fish comes out, you know that other big fish are cruising around too. And I wanna um, uh, give myself the best chance to catch the biggest fish, even at the change of light bite. All the time I will continually go from surface uh, baits to the to the chatter bait uh, every oh 15 20 minutes if I'm not catching fish on a topwater bait I'll go subsurface and my my technique is just pulling the boat in 10 feet off the bank going parallel with the bank making long casts bombing them out there and bringing it in changing my speeds uh, varying my cadences uh, stopping starting doing all the same stuff that you do in the daytime but you're not looking for a real pattern you're, you may be looking for a pattern on how aggressive the fish are and how they're coming up to the baits when they're either moving fast or slow or stopped or erratically you know you're still looking at that stuff but basically you're just pulling up on the bank you're going down the bank and you're power fishing there we go that's it baby the night time is the right time Woo! That, that's it guys, that's, that's what I do at night out here. And I'm telling you, my favorite bait, big bait here is the Mikey. I love to bomb that thing out. And you've got the moonlight on the water. You can see that big bait just waking the surface. And you can hear the clicking, click, 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 click. You hear that wake. You hear the bullfrogs in the background. You hear crickets. And sooner or later, there's going to be an explosion out there and that explosion almost startles you. Give it one one second, two one second and you set the hook with everything you got and I'm telling you when that fish has that bait your rod's not going to do this it's going to do this and you're going to be hooked up with a monster and I'll tell you that is magic and once that happens out here once that dance begins you're going to become addicted to getting out here and fishing all night long. So with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tell a friend. And uh, hopefully I'll see you out here at night. We'll be like two bass boats passing in the night. Make sure you say hi. Until then, we'll see you guys at the next video. That's gonna do it. So we'll see what goes tomorrow. Ah, shoot. Can somebody turn off the light? Thank you.